Hello everyone, my name is Evergreen, and welcome to one of the first games I've ever started playing as a young kid. This is the Fate series um, of games. Uh, I don't only ever played the first game, which is this one, but there are a total of four. I uh, think Curse King... Yeah, that's, that's all I remember. Um, so... If you're wondering what this game is, uh, obviously this is a very, uh, this is a game that doesn't have the super fantastic graphic qualities of, you know, modern games. This is obviously a much older game. Uh, but the reason why I love playing it is, it's, uh, it's a dungeon crawler. Uh, basically you, uh, start off with your original character, and then you go down into dungeons, uh, fight monsters, uh, get loot, level up, all that jazz. So we're going to start with the new game. Uh, of course, since we are a casual gaming channel, I would be doing the difficulty of page. Oh, uh, let's design our character. Uh, we can have female, male, I'll do male because I'm a male. Uh, let's pick a hairstyle. Kind of dig that one, that fits me. Let's see what we got to use. All right, we're back to the beginning. I think we're gonna go with that hairstyle. Yep, there we go. Select the face. I think we'll go with this one. All right, of course, our name is going to be Evergreen. The storyteller. Aw. Well, we'll just go with Evergreen. Except, also we have a nice little doo-boo. Oh, we, have, we can have a cat or a dog. Hmm. I like doggo. Well, I do like cats. Hmm. I will go with a cat. Screw it. Why not? Hmm. Think of names. One second. is a good name for a cat. Or should we go with the dog? But I really want a cat. I'm not good with names. Thing. 
Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. There we go. Miska. I don't know. That's just what comes to mind. Let's do it! Since oldest living memory, the dungeon gate has stood in the heart of the old wood. Its doorway leads to infinite possibility, to subterranean lands fabled in stories and myths. Many adventurers have passed over that ancient threshold, some to find fame, glory, and wealth beyond telling, and others never to return. The town of Grove has ever been the safe haven at the dungeon's mouth, a watering hole and resting place for weary adventurers. Here, great tales are told by the inn's fire, journeys are planned, and legacies are made. The minstrels sing of the great feats of heroes long gone, and statues ring the square, a testament to their deeds. After traveling many hard and dusty days, you and your faithful companion arrive at last in the fabled forest town, which waits beneath the long shadow of the gate. Within these walls lies the path to infinite adventure. It is here that you will test your worth, and perhaps find fortune and glory along the way. It is here that you will determine your fate. And so we shall. Oh. Uh, tale, uh, tell of a spindly creeper whose name is spoken in whispers. Zikubul, uh, Ubul. For centuries it has waited on the se uh, 52nd level of the dungeon, its evil seeping up towards the town. You must destroy it once and for all and rid the world of its evil influence. It is your fate, adventure. Will you meet it? Absolutely. Hmm. Your journey has begun. Welcome to the town of Grove. Explore the town by left-clicking to walk. Visit the shopkeepers and search for quests to perform. When you are ready, enter the dungeon gate to your right to begin your adventure. Display tips. Uh, time to remember all the keys. Pets help. Yep, 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 I remember. Um, move to attack and interact with items. Right click to cast spells when learn. Uh, hold control to run. Uh, alt to highlight items on the ground. Shift to remain stationary while attacking. Shift to click on um, pet take. And then merchants to sell directly from pet inventory. Toggle the auto map. V for save menu, H to toggle the help menu, and escape the okay, right, right, right. Gold mana. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, sweet. No. Oh. My quest menu. I is for my inventory. Alright, so we all, so our current starting equipment seems to be, and it seems to be a top down by the way, or not that it seems to be, it is. Here's Miska. Meow. Anyway, uh, we have our character sets, let's look at them. Evergreen the Unknown, we should get that to the Storyteller. We're level one, uh, the next level, what? <laughs> uh, we have one Renown, we currently have 25 Strength, 20 dex Dexterity, English Heart. Uh, 25 vitality. Uh, I should probably mention this. Strength obviously is damage. Uh, dexterity is your ability to, um, I believe, defend. Then you have, uh, well, actually, no, I'm sorry. This gives you the ability to wield certain heavy weapons and armors. This allows you to wield certain, um, uh, Swords and the like that would require dexterity. Vitality, obviously, you need to level up that gives you more health. And magic, obviously, the higher magic level you have, the higher, um, uh, better spells you can cast. Which, I think, if I, mm, I don't know, do I want to go, do I want to full send a warrior build where I get into the thick of things? Or do I want to be a magic caster? 
I don't know. This is my spell book. Oh. Uh, basically, I can have a certain amount of spells. Here's my inventory. Obviously, I have a light hand axe. Does three to six damage. It's fast. So the stuff that we can equip is gloves, two, two bracelets, a belt, boots, a vest, helmet, a necklace, and another weapon or shield. And of course we have a identify scroll, so if we ever pick up like a... Sorry, one second, I actually think the... Can we not... I don't know, it's very loud. Yep, I'm gonna turn down the music real quick. That is definitely not it. Wait, yes it is. I lied. Uh, sound effects, volume, music. Done. Alright, continue. Continue playing. Sorry guys, when I was trying to talk about it, I was just like, this music loud! Alright, um, what was I saying? Here's our uh, skills uh, menu where you can upgrade your uh, skills, for example, sword skills. So basically this gives uh, points of damage when wielding the specific weapon. Uh, same thing with this, critical strike, uh, spells, increase the time to cast. Alright, so this is basically your skills menu. Uh, toggle run. Journal. This is just our uh, journal stuff we've done. Quests. We don't have any quests. This is the map. Oh, map down here. Level 1 Bartley. I've got some potions and gear and scrolls for sale. You want to buy something? Yes. This is a shopping interface. Drag items from left to right to buy them. Drag your right to uh, left to sell. You may also quickly buy or sell items by holding shift while clicking them. You may have your pets sell directly to merchants by holding shift, then click them. Yeah, I already knew that. Hmm. So, probably one of the first things that I want to get is a fishing rod and a spell of a book of, a, or a spell book of identify and a spell book of town portals. Well, I'll show you later what this mean, uh, what these do by using these two. These are, uh, the red are obviously health potions, though I have small, normal ones. These are the major ones. These are mana potions, the blue, and these middle ones are stamina potions, which this is your stamina, being able to run. Obviously, we have minor, uh, normal, and major, but I just called them light, medium, and heavy. Fishing rods allow you to fish, which I will show you in a second where you can use that. So let's back out, because I don't want to buy anything at the moment. Here's our stash over here. Storage trunk. Obviously we have nothing in it. Uh, Brigman, who's this? Yes, Traveler. Uh, return when you've defeated, yeah. Uh, so yeah. I saw a vendor down here. I travel far and wide to bring you the best deals on the finest goods. Would you like to see my newest acquisitions? Yes. Ah, so here we go. Here's spell scrolls that if we uh, learn, can cast to help each other out. There is a variety of spells. It's actually quite insane. Uh, there's helmets, staffs that are... Uh, also, there's enchanted weapons. It's it's very much... This game's very much like D&D. I will say that. Hmm. What's this guy do? Gengar. I can extract gems from the items. The item will be destroyed, but the gems will be free to use on something new. Got something you want to want smashed? No, I'm good. Thank you, Mr. Goblin, man. I saw this guy up here who has a quest. Seaver. Hello! Hello! Um, I was traveling out in the forest when I was ambushed by Stonebiter, a noxious gel. It stole my Goblin Chewer's Ruby Ring of Seasons and made off into the dungeon. Please get it back for me. I followed it as far as level two. I will give you this ruby ring of protection as reward you can find. I accept the quest. have received the quest. Yep, so that's a quest right there. Uh, what is it doing? Oh, control. Ah, here it is. 
I remember this spot. This is the fishing spot. Here, you can get fish. Fish can be sold, of course, or they can be given to your pet to transform them into some form of monster for like a certain time period. Um, this bigger and more powerful the fish, I believe, if I remember correctly, the longer and uh, the longer and more powerful your pet is. You can also, if you get lucky, though the drop chance is rare, you can randomly get equipment from fishing. So it's funny, me and my mom used to play this a lot uh, when I was younger. And we would spend hours just fishing, 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 fishing for constant. We'd fill that entire chest over there full of fish. And just to meta, uh, that, that, that was what I would consider the game meta at the time. Of just maxing out, just grinding over and over again for as much fish as possible so we could have the greatest pet. Uh, or monster for our pet. And also getting some pretty sweet gear out of it. Uh, Mr. Zombie, Gimbo Tell. <laughs> a rat named Uradod and its army of bats have stolen a archer's cap of life and taken it to level one. Defeat the rabble and return the cap. You can find the dungeon chair. You have received a quest. I can only take four quests. Who was this guy again? The Enchanter. I can attempt to attempt uh, some items for you. Sometimes I can even add sockets. Watch out, though, I can accidentally curse things. Oh. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, wait, that was him. Explore the area. Here's the dungeon walls. Of the forest, it seems. Here's a quest giver. Uh, the heavy pick of strength and artifact that has long guarded this fair town has been lost. Beast came in the night and stole it away. I've heard... To level three, return it in the grove will reward you, give you the gamut of strength. Nah, I'm gonna decline. I don't wanna even go as far, as far down as level three yet. Nope, here's some more uh, people. Good day to you. Uh, this is the healer. I am the healer by trade. You will let me soothe your wounds adventure? No, because uh, I'm not injured. And then there, Rollo the Minstrel, he's a shopkeeper. I'm well known oh. Oh. throughout these parts. I lied. My songs bring fame and fortune to adventures uh, the land over. Will you pay 500 gold points to advance the rank of tolerated renowned level 2? No, because I don't have that gold. Here's the shopkeepers. Jin the Seer. This is our magic uh, Be welcome, items traveler. and spells. Um... Looking around. You spell summon monster. Battle fog. Hmm. I think I do want to be a magic user. I don't I don't know. I always like being a magic caster in D D games and the like. This guy Everything here is a bargain. Uh separate of gambling is the sport of kings, you know. Would you like to see what I have to offer? Yes. Uh, this is the gambling phase. The items on the left are all unknown. Magic powers. Once you purchase the powers, will be revealed instantaneously. And I never really did like this guy because while these items are probably pretty powerful, I've gotten some really good loot from this guy. The problem is, it's really expensive. Uh, remove gems, destroy the item. No. And this guy is our blacksmith. I got arms and armor for the finest quality. You will not find a better deal for miles around. I can I interest in some? Sure. What do you got, buddy? Uh, this guy doesn't have the greatest gear, but he, uh, I don't know. You can sell stuff to him and it works. Of course, we're not going to buy anything right now. Oop. Anything down here? I do like exploring. Nope, doesn't seem to be anything else. This seems to be the limit of town down here. Let's head to the south to our other two quest givers. It's an imp and this guy. Uh, level three. Nope. Well, what can I do for you? Alright, here we go. Screamhammer the rat has assembled an army of topaz gels and is advancing on the town from level one. Help us, uh... By defeating them, and the town will reward you for your bravery. I'll give you the el uh, leathery vest of the fox as a reward. 
Seven. You have received a quest. I believe we can only take three quests at a time. I keep forgetting shift is not a run key. All right, let's do this. Let's head into the dungeon. Descend into the dungeon. Yes. Pull down shift while attacking allows you to remain in place. Descend the stairs. All right, let's... Oh, that's the end of that. Oh, death cap. Got him. Get him, kitty. Get him, Miska. Uh, go this way. Great, why not? Oops, someone's being in this one. A barrel. Oh, a chest. One gold. Eh, free money. Oop. I'll go up this way. I know me, Scott. We'll be fine. Anything from this chest? Four gold. Actually, eight gold, technically. Ten. Ooh, a major mana potion. Oh, yes. Play urn. Getting shit is not my run key. Oh, dead cat. Got him. Chest. Gold. Uh, what was that? A leather vest. Uh, Alright, cool. We now have some body armor. 10 defense. Awesome. Our first piece of loot. Leather vest. What's up? Oh. Booty gel. Got him. Ooh, some gold on the ground. Seems to be a big room. Ooh, good kill. Oh, there's the dungeon exit. Or it's at level two anyway. Got the bat. Major stamina potion. <laughs> Got him. All right, let's continue exploring this room. Uh-oh. Oosh. Run! That's two bosses. I'm good. That's casting magic. That's not good. I need a health potion. Come on, die, 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 die. Gotcha. Don't kill my cat. Boy, oh, yeah. cloth belt. You have completed a quest. There we go. Well, that was scary. Holy cow. Got a cloth belt, some more defense. Here's the quest item. Uh, that we can't get a, uh, get rid of our uh, from our inventory until we uh, give it back to the quest owner. And you can actually wear this if you uh, get the high enough stuff for it. But of course, the moment you talk to your questee, your quest owner, you will give back the item. Spear and buckle. One to ten damage. Ooh, it has a socket. Unfortunate. Uh, we will try out the spear. Our pet's kind of hurt. Get, get this guy. Kill our pet. Got the guy. You have completed the quest. Yes! Quest completed. Awesome. Um, those two are completed. We need to go to level two. Uh, let's keep exploring. 
have been granted new skills. Oh, I level up. Level two, baby. Uh, you've gained new uh, points to spend. Click the red cross next to each statistic or skill you'd like improved on. Um, how many points did I get? Five. Okay. Um, I would like to get higher in magic, so let's do magic. Very well. Now we're up to 15 in magic. And I think... Hmm, I don't know. Shield battle. Attack magic. I would like to be proficient in some form of a melee weapon, so... Hmm. Here. What type of probably a staff, right? This is gonna be weird. I've never I'm never normally the one who plays staff weapons in uh in games, but we're gonna we're gonna try it. Good job, Miska. Ruby Jail, one shot it. Hell yeah. way hasn't it been explored yet, so we're going to go this way. Major mana potion. Gotcha. Got a buckler. Ooh, gotcha. Got him. Uh, oh, cool. I got an Initiate's Cow. Awesome. Chest. Major Stamina Potion. I would love to get a Health Potion. Thank you. Hey! Who's next? Batch, it seems. Awesome. Gotcha. And emerald ring. Sell that since it has no immediate... Oh, we got some leather gloves. Sweet. And a town portal scroll. Hell yeah. I don't have very many. I need some health potions. Pet's getting low on health, Miska. So am I. I got one left for both of us. Ooh, a chest. And. Oh, Miska's engaged. What do we get? Oh, a socket with. Uh, boots with sockets. Well, oh, nice. Ooh, a weapons rack. Hell yeah. Light hand X. Not we're gonna use it, but it is free money, so to speak. Alright, let's head back. What? Oh, I accidentally Oops. Did not mean to click that. Accidentally hit my Windows key instead of control for running. Zoom game. Let us go. Continue exploring this dungeon further. Try to kill that, that cat. Bunch of gels. Uh, oh, a fishing pole! Yay! Fishing poles allow you to fish when you see a cloud of fireflies. Feed, uh, feeding fish to your pet transforms them into more powerful creatures. You can find fishing holes in town and throughout the dungeon. You can also find rare items by fishing. Yes, sir. Get 
Good job. Good job. You have gained an experience Level up. and skill. Uh, let's get it. Let's max out magic again. And then this time we're going to do attack magic and... Hmm. Let's do shield. Or, no. Defense magic. Is this some gold? A treasure room. Holy cow! Gotcha. It seems to be the dungeon. Uh, you found an unidentified item. It means you found. Uh, that means the item has undiscovered magical powers. Identify it by right-clicking on an identity scroll and then left-clicking the item. So let's sh uh, let's see what that does. Uh, not identified. Right-click. Left-click. Uh. Hmm, it's actually pretty good. Chance of finding magical, magical items. Let's equip it. I know normally I would try to stick with the, uh... This class right here, but we are going to full send having a club. A crude hammer. Oh. Book of I Oh yes! Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Identify. Oh, it's a curse. Yeah, it's a curse. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Well, I don't really have to worry about one one percent increased item requirements because, well I I I'm really at the level of either it works or it doesn't, so. <laughs> Pick up this gold. Oh, I missed a I missed a piece over here. Money! We're up at 400 gold now. That seems to be the dungeon's treasure room. Come on, Miska. Don't, don't fall behind. Hello there. Oh yeah. Some gold. Nope, that appears to be it. Uh, do we still have a map? Nope. Nope. Uh, is that everything... ...found? Yeah, it looks to be it. Alright, I think we've cleared level one. However, we... Hmm, I don't know. Probably should. Alright, I'm gonna use a town scroll, and I'm gonna head back to town. Do it. Yes. You step into the portal. Sell all our gear, get some money. Fee potions bet to heal it whenever fleeing. Don't worry, it cannot die. Well, that's good. Misa can't die. Hello. You're welcome, traveler. Um. You have this. Wait, no. Do you have any. I can't buy any fire, or I can't buy any spells for you at the moment, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't even buy anything for me. Well, I can buy the staff. Hmm. I would like to buy a magic weapon from you, but unfortunately, I got nothing. Good day to you. Hi. Um. Let's sell some of our items. Sell our spear, shield. Oh, I didn't mean to. Wait, I meant to sell that. Uh, ring will sell to someone else. Axe, spear, spear, that thing, this, that. I need to identify this. One second. Inventory. The spell could not be completed. Ugh! Hell no! Get this out. I do you. Ew. 
Um, put this down there. Put this up here. Uh, I have many mystic items for sale. Yeah, we'll sell some of these. Don't really need stamina potions. We will keep these mana potions, but I really don't need them. I need health potions. I don't want to spend money on that though. Luckily, I'd be getting one as high. Do you still have the same stupid quest? No, nope, no, you don't. But you got well, what can I do for you? Awesome. Oh, my pet leveled up. Hell yeah. What'd you get? Ooh, that's solid. So let's see what this has got. Elden's Healthy Lever Vest of the Fox. So I get 1% stamina bonus, 2% life bonus, 2% vitality, and 1... One life bonus? What's that mean? Well, cool. We have some decent stuff now. Let's go sell that vest to this guy. Can I help you? Let's get healed, by the way. Good day. You feel refreshed. Thank you. Zombies quest was finished. Awesome. I didn't get anything for it. Oh well. Sell all our all that jewelry we don't need. Still can't buy anything of actual use. Of course we could buy the staff. Hmm. Ooh, that's actually good. Huh. I'll buy the staff. Use it later. Till we level up our magic to level 33. It's gonna be a minute. Put that in our chest while we wait. Let's go look for a couple more quests so we can get either really, really good items or, uh... Good day! Level 4, you. Hey you, come here. <laughs> oh hell yes. A K-Beetle called Bloodcutter the Bloodthirsty attacked the, a caravan of goods bound for town and took the valuable stonecutter's crossbow of seasons from the wagons. It has retreated to the second level with it. If you return with me, I can make it up to you. You have received the task. Let's do it. Keep going. Die. Um, I need some. Welcome, friend. I need some health potions. Uh, one, two, three, four. Seems good to me. Uh, let's put this pole arm away. All things considered, I won't need it for a minute. Just gotta remember that it's there. Come closer. I might be able to cut your deal. Hmm. Could you now? Um. Hmm. I kind of want to. I do want one. Yeah, screw it. Why not? Burn through money like crazy. Oh, by the way, here's another potion that I forgot to mention because I forgot it existed. It's called the antidote. Basically, if you ever get poisoned or the like, you can use one of these. And, uh, which I actually am gonna buy it. And this will make sure you do not die from poison and the like. Um, is our quest thing full? No, we need one more quest. Hmm. I mean, we could just run the two quests. Uh,. Shadow Cruster, the Emerald Gel, has assembled an army of rats. It is advancing on town. Defeat them on level three. Okay. You have received a task. Screw it. We'll do the two uh, quests on level two, and then be big and vibing. All right, let's head back down. Oh wait, I wanted to show off fishing, and then we'll probably end the video before uh, we head back down. 
Oh, I always forget how to do this. I guess it's when the, the uh, exclamation point comes up that you have to click it. Gotcha! What's that? Um, it transforms into a snow stalker, so uh, think a ginormous tiger. Let's take a minute. No, oh, I didn't. Little f slow on the draw. Gotcha. Wait, what? Oh, that's awesome! Magic. I'll definitely hold on. To it. Well, nah, I'm gonna sell that thing. Nice try, game. Way ahead of you. A dogfish. Oh, it returns pet to original form. Your pet has been transformed. Merry Christmas. What I get? Hey. Keep getting stuff. Well, if it keeps giving me legendary grade gear, I'm just gonna keep using it. Alright, one more time, because that's... Well, I, I want at least three fish before going into a dungeon again. Would like it to stop giving... I'm uh, never mind. A ring with a socket. Okay. Um, I would like fish, game. Fish. Fish, please. Awesome, here we go. Creeping Widow, a uh, big spider. Awesome. Gotcha. Oh, I got a gemstone. 3% attacks, uh, casting. Man, I keep getting good stuff for, uh... Yeah, let's do that. Let's wear this, uh, Duco ring. Sweet, we have... Another enchanted item with a gem this time. Oh, I misclicked. Darn it. Sometimes they're instant, sometimes it takes a while. <coughs> I gotta hit it just as it comes up. Gotcha. Please be a fish. Eh, alright. We'll make it work. Alright. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you did really enjoy the Fate series, as I will do more of it anyway, um, if you did like it, please do like, comment, and subscribe, as it really does help out the channel and lets me know that you like to see more of this. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!